YouTube, what's good? YouTube, what is going on? What is happening? All right, it's your boy one more time, Dedrick L. H. Jr. And of course, I am back with yet another fragrance video. Okay, so smell good family. What's up with y'all? What's good, man? Hopefully everything's all right. Good, super duper, fantastic, uh, blessed, whatever word you want to use, man. I hope you guys are experiencing for sure. So you know how we give it up here on this channel, man. Positive energy, positive vibes, man. That's all we own. That's all we got to be on, man, is positive energy. All right. So I'm excited for today's video, man, because I want to tell y'all a story, man. I want to tell y'all a quick little story before we get into uh, the fragrance we're getting ready to talk, talk, getting ready to talk about. And um, just shout out to, you know, my dealer's family, uh, my local dealer's family. Shout out to uh, Miss Heather. So every year, and some of you are where you live, y'all might have this sale at your local dealer's. It's the uh, fall winter sensational event where you can save uh, a lot of money purchasing some fragrances and get some ca uh, cash back or you can put it towards another cosmetic item in dealer. So I participated in sensational this year and I bought two fragrances. One of them is what we're talking about today and I purchased another which I'll do a review on uh, later. So when you bought the fragrance, you got uh, automatically entered into a raffle. Well. Your boy entered into the raffle, and it was a, it's a beautiful, beautiful gift that they were giving for, you know, just, you know, spending your money, pretty much spending your money um, during the sale. And uh, shout out to Miss Heather. Oh, man, I love Miss Heather. Uh, she's just a dope, dope, dope person. Um, just an incredible person. A big heart. Um, shout out to you, Miss Heather, if you're watching. All right, so... Um, she let me know everything was good to go with my uh, uh, my fragrances and you know everything for the sensational event, and then she shot me uh, uh, the information that I had won the giveaway. <laughs> she let me know that I had won the giveaway, and I was like, "What?" So the B roll is running right now of what the giveaway is. Yes, I won this massive basket of seven fragrances, man. You got some bangers in there. I, Blue de Chanel, the EDP. YSL Wild Fresh, uh, Spice Bomb, the original, which I don't have in my collection. So out of the seven fragrances that I uh, won, I only had three of them, which was the Jimmy Choo original, the Chanel EDP, and the YSL Wild Fresh. All right, and now the other, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, six fragrances, five, fra four fragrances? Yeah, the other four fragrances, I think it was seven fragrances. Yeah, the other four fragrances, I didn't have the Spice Bomb EDP, the Invictus Intense, which I didn't know exist, the Armani Cold uh, 200, Armani Cold Original, I think it is, 200 ml bottle, and I got another fragrance that I can't think of off the top of my head, but uh, it was incredible. I mean, you saw the basket, I won a sensational event, seven fragrances, so I walked out of dealers with nine fragrances, <laughs> nine fragrances. It was crazy, so I wanted to share that with y'all, all right? So, shout out to my local dealers team, man. And uh, incredible, man, incredible, man. Uh, I guess I, something was a good luck charm that day, and I appreciated whatever it was, all right? So, let's go ahead and move along into the review. I just wanted to share that with y'all. All right, so what led to me winning the uh, giveaway was obviously me going to purchase these fragrances these two fragrances and this one in particular I had been eyeing for quite some time. I smelled it every time I went to Dillard's and uh, I said eventually I'm gonna get it, eventually I'm gonna get it. So I went ahead and copped it because I was able to uh, get it on, a, uh, save some money on it, all right? So here we go from the house of Carolina Herrera. All right, we have Bad Boy, Cold Block, Cold Block Blue, no, Cold Block EDP Electric. Whew. All right, here we go, Cold Block Blue, the whole name I just said. Wild Bottle, you got the CH uh, up top. All right, hopefully that's in focus. This Lightning Bolt, Bad Boy Bottle, uh, blue uh, design, just very artistic. Wild with the flap right here. Uh, just a lot uh, going on um, with this bottle. But it's not about the bottle, it's about the juice. Now this came in a gift set. Lately I'm trying to you know get rid of my boxes without hoarding them. Um, because I do have some plans on potentially selling some fragrances in the future. So I keep a lot of my boxes, man. So I just kind of organize everything. But I'm, anyway, that's another conversation. But this came in the gift set, the fragrance and some shower gel. And uh, Corky, 
cool looking bottle, but what's inside here is dope. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the juice. Um, I have worn this fragrance, so um, the review is, um, I wore it right out the box. As soon as I got it, I wore it. I just had to experience the full deal, man. So let's uh, go ahead and get this on a tester strip, and uh, man, this stuff is good, all right? So two sprays, very good atomizer. On a test strip, you just get it in the air, bro. You just get it in the air, get it in the air. Man, this just smells so good. So we'll get into the notes in a minute. So at the top of my nose, immediately you do get a comparison to Paco Rabanne's One Million Lucky, all right? It's like a more aromatic version of One Million Lucky. You do get a plum note in here for sure. This fruity, juicy plum. Um, this, this aromatic uh, feel to the fragrance for sure. A uh, slight spice, some sweetness to it. I love it, man. I love it. Huge fan of Paco Rabanne's One Million. But it's like, like it's like you got, I don't want to say Diet and Diet Coke, but it's like you have one version that's really, really strong. Like this is a, and then this is not a flanker of One Million, but then you got a, like a, 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 a another one that's not as harsh. It's not harsh, not as rich, not as bold. And that's what this is, even though it is an excellent, has excellent quality. I love the electric spin that they put put on it, the cobalt at a perform electric. I like that. But this puts you in the headspace of one million lucky. Just a more aromatic version of it. Uh, with definitely some other tweaks, but it's in the neighborhood of that. Now, one million lucky has been rumored to be discontinued. So if you want to get you a bottle of that, I would urge you to try very, very hard and get one now before you won't be able to. I'm still looking for one million prevade. And they taxing out the wazoo to get a bottle of that, man. But I ain't gonna have that problem with me and Lucky. So, Cobalt Blue, Bad Boy Cobalt Blue. I really, really enjoy it. Um, and to me, it's, it's it's a fantastic scent, all right? So, like I said, I get a plum, aromatic feel to it. Uh, spices, a little fruity sensation as well. Very good. So let's talk about what's in the fragrance and then we could talk about uh, what I rate it, where I wear it, performance and all that. All right, so up top for Bad Boys, Cobalt Perfume Electric by Carolina Herrera. All right, so they this is stating that it's a perfume, but on the bottom of the bottle, I believe, it states that it is a an ED, an Eda Parfum Electric, like the Eda Parfum Intense. That's what the bottle uh, says on the bottom. All right, so you get an aromatic, woody, earthy, fruity, fresh, spicy, sweet lavender, soft, spicy, herbal, and rose style fragrance. Up top, you get pink pepper and lavender, and that's where that spice is coming from. I do get lavender in here for sure. In the mid, you have that fruity, juicy plum, which I love the note of plum. Uh, you get geranium. And then down in the base, you get a truffle note, some vetiver, some cedar, and some oak, all right? That's what you get in this fragrance. Um, like I said, you do get it like slightly uh, down in the dry down, because like I said, I've worn this fragrance and I've tested it. You do get this slight earthy feel, but it compliment, it's complemented by the plum, uh, by the lavender, all right? And then that truffle note is just, you get it, but I don't get a lot uh, of it. Like in a... a that, yeah, it's assisting in that earthiness. Yeah, that's what it really is. But it's like an ambery, uh, animalic type vibe. But it complements everything. I get the geranium in here. And the geranium is similar to the geranium in um, uh, YSL, uh, Wise EDP. All right, just off paper for sure. But yeah, that plum, that geranium, that lavender, you do get that earthy, you know, animalic type vibe from the truffle. And it's good. It's really, really good. And I really, really like it. So I wore it to the office the, the other day and uh, the performance on it was fantastic. I was very surprised of how it performed. Um, I got about eight hours of performance, seven to eight hours of performance. Like I said, I'm not a light sprayer. I'm not doing two sprays to the neck and that's it. Nah. I'm gonna get off a few sprays and you gonna know I was in the building. And I ain't choking nobody out because I know how to wear my fragrances. You gotta know what you're doing and uh, everything will be just fine. So I wore it to the office and this is when I would wear it to the office. I would do a lot with this fragrance. Now, if I'm going on a date 
if I'm going out and uh, you know it's a, that type of vibe, then I, I'm gonna wear one million lucky. That's what I'm gonna wear. But to the office or maybe a more chill situation, and I'm in the mood for that, but I want to twist to it. I'm definitely gonna go with this now. Can uh, Cobalt Blue, Bad Boy Cobalt Blue? That's what I call it. Can, can it can it hang around on its own? Sure, it can because it does have the truffle. Uh, um, that's really creating the the difference with how aromatic this is compared to the one million lucky and I'm not this is not a comparison video but that's what you're gonna get when you smell it but just on a different tip but it can hold its own the truffle the plum the geranium the lavender the spicy kick to it um, it's just really really good man so I will do a lot with this for sure but definitely gonna be wearing this to the office and I definitely could wear it out to other things where, when it's not such of an intimate, more sexier situation, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna wear one million lucky for that, for sure. So, I give this thing a eight and a half out of a 10. This is a really, really good fragrance, a decent performance. The sillage is fantastic. You get about a foot to two feet of sillage for about, man, I'm gonna say an arm's length reach of sillage for about the first two hours man um it's really really nice sillage projection is really good scent dna is really really good this is an overall solid fragrance and i do recommend it if you're into that type of uh fragrance like from uh Paco Rabanne's one million lucky all right so really really good i think it is i think it's a fan favorite i did get a couple of compliments um, and no one asked what I was wearing, but the two people who asked me, they said, man, that smell real good, bro, you smell good. And I was like, appreciate it. And then somebody else told me like, man, I don't know what that is you got on, man, but you got one there. That's what uh, I was told, man, so, and I do. And this is good, and I'm glad to have it in my collection. All right, so, so yeah, man, very, very good fragrance. Uh, Caroline Herrera's Bad Boy Cobalt, Cobalt uh, Eta Parfum Intense, <laughs> all right, or Electric, excuse me. At a perform electric, all right? So it's a good one. Here's the bottle once again. Carolyn Herrera's Cobalt Blue. That's what I call it, all right? So this stuff is really good. Look into it, man. Be something y'all might be interested in, all right? So, all right, smell good family. I had to tell my story, man. So it was story time, and I wanted to kind of uh, review this fragrance. And I'm not done with this fragrance. I'm gonna come back to it once I even spend more time with it. But I really wanted to get off and get a review on this because this is the one I've been wanting. It was on my wish list. And I always feel good to grab something that you've been wanting. It smells really, really good. And it's just a complete win. All right. And that's what I experienced with this one for sure. All right. All right. Smell good, fam. So until next time, be cool, be safe, take care of yourselves. On the road to 3,000 subscribers. Thank y'all. Appreciate y'all for sure. We're going to do a giveaway for it for sure, man. And I'm um, just thinking about what it's going to be still. All right. So, smell good, family. Meet me down in the, below in the comments, man. Have y'all smelled Cobalt Boo? All right. Is it good? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you have it? Is it on your wish list? Let me know your thoughts, man, down below in the comments, man. So, until next time, man, y'all be cool. Be safe. Take care of yourselves. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next fragrance video. Spack up. All right. Just, just put it on. Don't think about it. Just put it on. That's all. Spike the hook.